So what's an EIDL? It is Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And they are offering a $10,000 advance, which is a grant, which means you don't have to pay it back. And it's to help out small businesses. And we are a small business. And in this video, I'm going to get on my computer. I'm going to show you exactly what to Google. We're going to go right into the form. I'm going to fill it out myself and we're going to go all the way through it to the very end. And at the very end, you're going to see that this will take you about 20 minutes. And if all goes well, you might have $10,000 uh, direct deposited into your bank account. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. How about that, huh? Nice logo. All right, so we're going to jump right in onto my computer and we are going to uh, go, go through the process. There's four, four screens you gotta go through. It will really take you about no more than half an hour. And who knows if we're gonna get approved or not, but we have as much right as any other small business. Uh, our business has been hammered. Uh, so let's go for it. And uh, stick around at the end. I'm gonna give you my key takeaway from this process. All right, let's start where we could all start, at google.com. And what you're going to Google is EIDL, EIDL grant application. There it is right there. And then on my search, it's the second one down, but you want to find uh, SBA Gov, Funding Programs, Loans, Relief Options. Click on that. And there it is, EIDL, Emergency Advance. So they call this an advance. It's a grant. It's $10,000. And right here it says to apply, click here. And here we are. We can apply. All right, let's do this. So first thing you got to do is uh, pick uh, elig eligible entity verification. So if you are a sole proprietor, uh, an Uber and Lyft driver, um, you would click an, as an individual who operates under a sole, sole proprietorship with or without employees or as an independent contractor. That would be you. Um, I, I have an LLC, so I'm going to pick this one for myself. And uh, you can see uh, all of these different options, and you really just want to pick one of the top two. Okay, review all of the following. So. Um, applicant is not engaged in any illegal activity, so that we want to check that it's correct. No principal of applicant with 50%. Okay, so you just basically want to check all these things off, right? Because they don't apply. If they do apply, then you're not going to get through. Applicant does not derive more than one third of gross revenue from legal gambling activities. Applicant is not in the business of lobbying. Applicant cannot be a state or local government. Okay. And once you click all those, then it says continue. So then you're going to hit continue. Okay, so this is where you're going to fill in all your information. All right, and then they want your uh, your, your number, uh, your organization type. So in my case, I would be a limited liability, uh, that one right there, limited liability company, LLC. Is the applicant a non-profit organization? No. Is it a franchise? No. Okay, gross revenue. Okay, so put whatever that number is for you. Uh, for most of us, we don't we don't sell anything, so you just put in a big zero there. Uh, rental property. Uh, that's no. Uh, nonprofit cost of operation. Combined annual operating expense. Okay, so you could uh, put in some expenses that you have uh, as a driver. Um, List the secular social services provided by that's zero compensation. So the ones that are in red, those are the ones you actually have to fill out. Okay, and then you're gonna put your address, your business phone, email, and uh, it asks for your business activity. So here, let's see what we've got to choose from. Um, for most of us, it's going to be personal services, which I can't see. Let me see if I can move this. No good, I can. Put me over there. How about that, huh? Um, so, let's see. Where were we? Business activity. Right. Okay. So, 
um, personal services. For most of us, that's what we're going to be. And then detailed business activity, you can put some more stuff here. It would be a little more specific. But they don't give you a whole lot to choose from here. So you could just put none of the above. Okay. And the number of employees. So if you're just a driver, you really don't have any employees. Uh, so you just put uh, zero there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the rest, and then we'll go to the next page. One thing I wanted to point out here, because we got asked this question, um, is right here where it says EIN or SSN. So you do not have to have an EIN. So an employer identification number is something you would have if you uh, reported your sole proprietorship to the IRS. They would give you an EIN, or in my case, I made an LLC. I got an EIN. But uh, SSN is just fine. You can put it here, and then there's another place further in the application. You're going to they're going to ask for your personal social security number. That would just be the same number. So you don't have to go and get an EIN uh, if that's not something you want to do at this time. Uh, there's benefits to, to having an EIN for yourself, a little bit of protection. That's something you can do some research into. But uh, for the time being, just to get through this, if you don't have one, you don't need one, just put in your SSN. All right, great. Let's move on. All right, we're moving through this. Let's move on to, uh, let's move that over there. Right there. Okay, uh, so this is page three. So we have the disclosures, the business information, and now business owner's information. Is your business owned by a business entity? No, for most of us, that is going to be a no. Okay, we, we, we are our own business. Okay, so here you're just going to put in all your personal information. Your percent ownership would be 100%. Your email, here again, you'd put in the same social security number. Um, that you used earlier, uh, all this information. All right, so go ahead and fill that out and then we'll go to the next page. Okay, it looks like we are at the last page. So additional information. So they wanna basically make sure you're on the up and up. So in the past year, has the business or listed owner been convicted of a criminal offense? Obviously you wanna put no there. Um, suspended or debarred? No. Are you presently subject to an indictment? No. Then it says if anyone assisted you in completing this application, whether you pay a fee for the service or not, that person must enter that information below. So we're going to skip that because um, we're doing it ourselves. I would like to be considered for an advance of up to 10000 Yes. And then they want to know your bank name, uh, account number, and routing number. So you'd fill that in, and then you're going to click right here where it says, I hereby certify under penalty of perjury. Yes, that everything you've, you've put on there is accurate, and then you're going to hit next. So let me fill in my bank information, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so when you get to this page, it's a summary page. All you want to do is make sure all your information is accurate. Click I am not a robot and hit submit, and wow, there you go. There's my application number. You will not receive an email confirmation of your application. You will be notified through email address submitted when we are processing your application. We expect this to take about a week. Please write down your application number or print this page for your records. So I'm going to go control alt 4, take a screenshot of this, and boom, we are done. All right, that's the application process. All right, key takeaways from this process. Just go for it. Just do it. I just show you exactly how to do it. You don't need anything. You got a social security number, you got an address, you got a bank account, you drove for Uber and Lyft and demand is down. So give it a shot, give it a shot. Throw, it's like fishing. You wanna throw as many lines in the water as you can and eventually something's gonna come up, right? Something's gonna come up. It might be unemployment, it might be that $600, it might be the $1,200 stimulus check we're gonna get in the mail. Um, or it could be a $10,000 uh, direct deposit in your bank account. Woohoo! So uh, go for it. That's my that's my key takeaway. Go for it, and uh, and, and put it behind you. All right. You'll go ahead and have a great day. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, um, subscribe. We're going to bring you the most up to date information that we can. Thanks for watching the video. Appreciate it very much. Be safe out there.